The northern and middle belt region of Nigeria have for several years been experiencing outbreaks of severe violence. In recent times, this violence has extended to other parts of the country. Many of the persons who are direct or indirect victims and or survivors of the Boko Haram insurgency, the headsmen banditry, the sporadic inter-ethnic and inter-religious conflicts, and the widespread kidnapping for ransom and sundry criminality across the length and breadth of Nigeria have lived through extremely traumatic experiences. Many survivors have endured untold physical torture and psychological abuse. In Nigeria, where mental health awareness, even among the educated segment of the population, is very low, stakeholders have provided basic psychotrauma healing courses to help gain sufficient awareness that mental health needs to be provided. We live in a country where mental health awareness, even among the educated segment of the population, is very low. Generally, across the country, the Nigerian people and our governments are yet to gain sufficient awareness that mental health care needs to be provided for in the same way as we provide for physical health care. Thus, until a disturbed person degenerates into a full-blown psychiatric case requiring to be detained in a psychiatric hospital or asylum, we often do not recognize that there is a health challenge that needs urgent attention. Yes, until people strip and parade the streets naked, we often do not give their mental health issues any serious attention. What are we dealing with? We are dealing with a condition of learned helplessness where the zeal and energy to fight is gone and hope is completely lost. Where the unthinkable is now Nigeria's reality, we have spiraling escalation of post-traumatic stress disorder right now. What you studied a few years ago or a few months ago is no longer the issue. We are studying, a, we are dealing with a complex trauma situation in Nigeria and that requires a new approach. Though Nigeria has thousands of graduates of psychology from the universities, the majority of these are not engaged in the counseling enterprise, hence the need for professionals and volunteers who currently work with victims of violent conflict to be healed and heal. In the Department of Psychology, um, which of course involves training in clinical psychology, and even training for those who want to specialize in industrial organizational psychology or forensic psychology or health psychology, uh, counseling is uh, a basic and core part um, of that training. Practical training by way of internships is also required um, for students of psychology. And what we would like to encourage more is perhaps to design our programs in such a way that there will be more of the practical engagement like Loxterra um, is doing. It has really helped me a lot in all ramifications of my life. Also, help in psychoeducating my clients the need for them to see some things like being resilient about things to understand the fact that resilience is not that you don't feel pain it's that you go through the pain but you bounce back to life to so accept the adversity is part of human existence and everybody every human being prefers pleasure to pain so it's normal for them to feel pain but what's next afterwards how to help themselves to reintegrate themselves in the society. The need for mental health awareness cannot be overemphasized as it applies to our daily lives, hence the need to inculcate or introduce programs of practical engagement in schools for better basic psychotrauma healing. From Abuja, Mavis Ako, Kaftan TV News.